So what I got here is a Dell Power Edge 540. So what I'm going to add here is a network card and memory. So I'm simply going to shut down Windows. Power it down. So I got the Windows shut down and now I'm going to pull the power plugs. And also remember the network cables here I have blue on the top and red at the bottom. So pulling out the rack is these two. I'll need two hands, but I could pull this out one at a time here. And I'll push in here. And now I can slide this out. Sliding this thing out like so. So this, these two things on the side releases it. And now on the top here, just pull it in. This releases. I'm gonna move this aside. I'm gonna take out this shield, expose the RAM, and also I'm gonna put a network card here. So just to show you the power, the power edge here, 540, the insides. If you have to switch out some bands, so this one's blank. I'd probably put in another one. Probably don't want that to be blank. Um, there you can see the RAM chips. Now there's two sides. There's an A and a B. There's two processors here. So you want to even it out because um, lots of times the memory is dedicated to the CPU somewhat. So as I do that, I'm going to keep that in mind. You see how many slots there really are here though. You know, th these are all completely free. You know, there's two separate ones, and then there's uh, another three here. And so this is a this is a fairly interesting configuration because of the you know slimmer profile. See, there's one, two, three, four, five slots. So you really want to look at the numbering. So you can see on the edge there that is A1, A2, A3. So so just keep that in mind. You, you want to you wanna put those in order, so I'm going to put a A4 and a B4. You know, so, so you can see the numbering there on the edges. I'm trying to get the glare out, so you can see, you see there, there's the B3, B2, and B1. And then here, there's the A, there's the uh, A1, A8, A2, and A3. And then here's like the A6. So you want to kind of do it in order, just to make sure. So you could see there, there's the B4, B5, and B6 also. So, uh, you know, that, that's the interesting aspect of this. So I'm going to put in the two memory RAM chips and then also the network card here. So let me show you that. So I have my network card here and two DDR4. 16 gigs. So with the two DDR4 16 gigs, actually what I've noticed is I have a 64 here, 64 and a 32 on this A CPU and on the B CPU I have a 64, 64. So I'm actually going to locate B3 and B4 here and I'm going to put in the 16 gig and the 16 gig to even out on both CPUs. So that's what I'm going to do here with these. And um, you know, so, you know, it's just spreading these out like, like any RAM chips. Putting this in. Snapping it in place. Double checking. That's 16 on B3. So just zooming in B3 right there. And B4 is right there. So I'm going to make sure these are spread out. Take this, line it up, make, make sure I'm facing the right side. These are, you know, that, that middle there, so. Popping this in. Popping this side in. Um, now normally, I should really check the manual and see the configuration, but because this is a DDR4, my gut is that the configuration will be a little bit more flexible and it'll just work. 
So, but if I, uh, you know, go through the BIOS uh, boot up and there's a warning or it doesn't start or it complains, you know, but I already know because these are different, these are already different configurations, the 64, 64, 32, and before it only had a 64, 64 on this side. So now it's just even. Um, now for this uh, network card here, so for the network card, this is a half height. This is a, you know, SFP plus uh, Intel for um, a 10 gigabit. So just, uh, you know, pulling this out. And of course, this is the PCI Express. But first, what I have to do here is push this in, release this. So now I have that released. Re remove this holder plate, like so. So this is removed. Uh, remember to take this out, otherwise, you know. Um, now just putting this in, aligning that just right. You know, the top is aligned. And simply snapping this in place, making sure this aligns over here. Drop it down, make sure it clicks back in place, like so, nice and snug. So this is you know, all right, nice and snug. So just want to double check. It's in place, awesome. And everything, you know, just to make sure everything's seated, you know, just reseat everything, push in a little bit. Since I have this open, no harm, no foul. And uh, grab this, close it back up. So I have this plate here. Closing it back up, seating this in. Now, if, if you don't have this snug, sometimes the cover won't go back in because it actually aligns with these pins. So you can see the cover aligns with these pins right here. So you just have to make sure of that. So I have the cover here now. So I'll bring this back in. Seating it right, you know, shaking it, seating it, shaking it, making sure it's, uh, so you see the holes here? So those holes will align. If they don't align, it's just not going to close, so you got to make sure of that. And you can see already, I'm having a little bit difficulty. I'm going to have to use two hands, so I'm going to shut off the camera and use two hands and adjust it and wiggle it. So in my case, all I really had to do was pull this back a little bit more and it seat it right and now I could just snap it back in. So before, I had to pull this back a little bit more, and you could see now it just aligns, and it closes and it snaps in place like this. Very snug, you know, no air. And now I'm just gonna push it back in. It clicks in place, start it back up and check uh, the BIOS and make sure everything is right. And that's really it. So uh, I hope this helps and please thumbs up the video if this helped. If you have any questions uh, in the comment section, ask me any questions and I'll... Uh